it's simon here welcome back to the hermit's cave so it's the end of the week we made it to the end of another week i've got my mug of coffee and i thought i would talk to you a little bit about um cheryl yambrack rose and her artwork i've already done a uh walkthrough i believe or if i didn't do a walkthrough then i certainly mentioned um this deck through the eyes of the soul uh, when I did a catch up video because this deck along with Wendy Andrews's uh, Goddess Love and Goddess Dream, um, these decks in particular, and this is two decks merged into one um, and edged with the two, multi two colors of purple and blue, which really complement it nicely. And Through the Eyes of the Soul have been, of uh, all three, well, I suppose I'm catching this as one, so both have been a very um, helpful tool in terms of healing um, through um, what I've been through over the last six weeks or so with grief, etc. cetera. Um, and I, I've just found them such a comfort and I've really appreciated, I mean, I love Wendy Andrews's art anyway, um, ever since I bought the book oh, four years ago, uh, was it four years ago? Yes, four years ago, 2018, uh, Lunar Moon Hair, A Journey with the Goddess. Um, but Cheryl Yambrack Rose is somebody who's kind of new to me. So I believe she's from Glastonbury originally, or she still lives in Glastonbury, or she moved to Glastonbury, but she's got connections with Glastonbury. And I'd seen um, her earlier decks in a few shops um and there i believe the originally they'll buy us games which i'll come on to in a second um and then um Sinead, um the lovely Sinead, who i have uh, you know the most um utmost love and respect for who i met at the uh, meetup last year in glastonbury her channel is called hazel jane tarot hazel jane all one word um, bought this deck and talked about her connection because the place that she was staying in had artwork on the walls of Cheryl Yambrack Rose. Um, now, originally, this deck was released by US Games and it was called Art Through the Eyes of the Soul. And there was a second deck, a sister deck, called Art Through the Starseed Oracle. And there has been speculation because this has been released now by... Um, Blue Angel on larger cards um, on matte cardstock as well. And it's it's really, really lovely. Um, as to whether, you know, the second deck might be released. Well, yesterday um, I had a work meeting in Chesterfield. So on my lunch, I nipped to the shop, which was two minutes away from where my meeting was. Um, and I went into Curious Goods, uh, which I've mentioned before, and I picked up two decks. First one is an oracle, which is the Gregory Scott Tarot, um, which is a tarot of positive clarity. Again, Gregory Scott is connected to Glastonbury, lives in Glastonbury, has a channel. Um, and I saw this, this was 1999, which I didn't think was a bad, um, a bad price, really. I saw this when I went to the first tarot meetup in Glastonbury in 2020. It was just released, um, but I, it's took till now to find it um, or even get around to ordering it, really, or see it, you know. It's on my wish list, but I hadn't ordered it. But I saw it in the shop. I saw the price. I thought, yeah, actually, I will we'll get that. But then towards the back, I saw um, art through the star stream. I think I said Star Seed, didn't I? Star Stream Oracle uh, by Cheryl Yambrack Rose, which is the original um, US Games. Now, this was a little bit more expensive. It was £25. But this was released eight years ago in 2014. Like the sister deck, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul, which has now been re-released by Blue Angel. 
So I was very excited because I thought I'm going to um, I'm going to get it because you know maybe it's not in print anymore. Sometimes you go into these shops and um, you you pick up a, a deck and it's been on the shelf for a few years. I remember going into Watkins in London and getting the um, is it the Art of India tarot, which was out of print and it was just buried at the back of a shelf. Um, and I thought, well, if it's being re-released by Blue Angel, I will um, I will see what they're like. Now, I do remember, because they had these out on um, on display in Glastonbury, that the cards are a different shape and they're also glossy, which if we look at the new, um, the new versions, as I said, I'll keep a couple out just so we can have a look um, at the difference. But the artwork is amazing. And the reason, incidentally, I don't think I mentioned this last time when I talked about Through the Eyes of the Soul. Um, the eyes are really important because a lot of the central figures in uh, Cheryl Yambrat Rose's work um, are face on, as you can see here. And the way that she paints, and these are oil paintings on canvas, is she starts with the eyes. She always starts painting with the eyes and then expands outward from there. And I just think that is such a cool concept because eyes are the windows to the soul, aren't they? And I just love the fact that she starts with eyes. And I don't know why and or where it started, but if I'm at work or at home and I've got a pen and paper and I get distracted, like I'm on the phone and I'm chatting and I start doodling, when I doodle, I always draw eyes and I don't know where that comes from, but it's something I've always done. So yeah, she starts with the eyes and she works her way uh, outward from that. And I just think that's so cool. So I think the the quality of this uh, deck, actually, the presentation is beautiful. It's got this gold um, foil design for the lettering and around the edges and on the sides it is really beautiful actually it's really well um well put together so 10 out of 10 for packaging but, but us games you know they do they do do some really beautiful packaging so on the back it says in every culture there is a story that leads back to the stars or other worlds this oracle deck connects you to your origins in the source field where all creations, solutions and outcomes are possibilities waiting to be intuitively chosen and internalized into your conscious life. The box contains 52 gilded cards of original oil paintings with guidebook to take you beyond the current time space continuum. It can be used with Cheryl's preceding deck, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul which of course is now this re-release deck as uh, Through the Eyes of the Soul. Cheryl Yambrack Rose is a clairvoyant artist painting neo-mythic art that is published and collected worldwide. So in its US Games 2014. So it has a nice two-part box, very easy to uh, remove. Then we have the book, which is quite a decent, this is Cheryl. Um, quite a decent size book. They are black and white, but you get a fairly decent uh, sized image. Oh, look at that with the Glastonbury tour. Ah, beautiful. Gaia needs you. She certainly does. Um, so it talks a little bit about, um, because the cards do give you the name of the painting and then uh, an oracle, a divinatory uh, message. But you can go here as well and read more um about the artwork and and the message of the card so this is 114 pages i'm not sure what um because they're very similar when i saw them in glastonbury both versions before i knew about the blue angel version i think this one has been slimmed down but i could go yeah 67 pages so the blue angel versions now i'm thinking maybe i should get art through the eyes of the soul <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till I go back to Glastonbury in October and uh, see if they've got any left. They've been there every year I've gone. My luck will be, you know, you snooze, you lose. I've missed out. 
But anyway, um, so nice little guidebook. The cards, oh, and these are the backs. The backs are stunning. I do remember seeing these backs. I did forget that they are gold gilded and these aren't stuck together or anything. They, they actually um, move around really nice. No sticking, which is unusual when you get uh, the metallic kind of gold gilding. But look at that for the backs. Really, really beautiful. So that appears on obviously every card. But even that is a stunning, stunning piece of art. Really gorgeous with the little otters. And then the difference now you see is um, the size. So the original is taller, but narrower. Um, they are glossy, but not a heavy set gloss actually. Uh, whereas the Blue Angel version is matte and they're bordered, whereas now it's borderless. And then you've got like um, a panel for the name of the art and the phrase, whereas it's just text on the uh, the painting itself here. Um, but these are a really nice size, really nice. So let's move the camera down and let's have a look, closer look at these cards. Okay, so I don't want to cast any shadows or anything. So as we can see here, we get this, um, oh, the beautiful, I just love her artwork. The High Priestess from the Land of Ariane. Um, be open to a communication from an unexpected place. So they are numbered as well, 1, one to 52, as you can see here. Um, I actually like this. I, wonder, I don't know what's wrong with me. The amount of times I looked at these in Glastonbury and chose not to get them. Um, I think I like this design. Dare I say it, we moan, or oh, I've moaned. Can't speak for anybody else. I wouldn't say moaned, but I've gone on and on about, oh, can't we not have nice matte cardstock? And then somebody does come up with nice matte cardstock and I'm like, actually, I really like this design. <laughs> I like that it's gilded. It just, it just feels better quality for some reason. I don't know. Oh, you can't please everybody. Certainly not me. Um. So yeah, and I'm not going to ring, uh, read out everyone, but we've got here King Arthur. But look at this horse. Isn't the artwork incredible? Prepare for a major event. We've got Mary Magdalene. The Selkie. Oh, look. Shapeshift, transform, experience a new reality. We have the green man here, wake the divine masculine. I really like this. Angel of abundance. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Gaia needs you act from your crown and heart. So it's talking about our chakras there, the crown chakra and the heart chakra. And I love this because we've got the, uh, the tour here, well, the, the mound is the tour. But we, we always say the tour when we see that uh, that structure. And then we've got the chalice well here at the bottom, which back in the day would have looked exactly like that before we built the walls that is, you know, and the gardens and everything else. Um, and this says earth chakras, crown and heart. Power of the master. Call in protection. You are not alone in the universe. So I do believe that this deck, um, and I don't know much, and I should, but I don't know much about star seeds or star stream. And I know it talks about ancient kind of uh, civilizations from other worlds. And then there's the whole sort of, you know, are we hybrids from uh, beings from another world? Protect your sacred body temple. That's quite phallic. Except where you are. Go forward and leave the past behind. Just look how beautiful this artwork is. Can you imagine this as an oil painting on canvas? 
so beautiful. Bitter revenge leads to destruction. And here's me, you know, I'm really scaling back on oracles. And I have, I must have, I must have um, let go of over a hundred oracles over the last two to three years. Um, I kind of started out collecting oracle decks and then reconnected with tarot in a big way. This blue here, it's like a, a turquoise blue. It, it's like it's pulsating. It's like electric blue. It's so vivid. The sacred gift is coming to you. You have children of the desert. You are not abandoned. Remember to ask the right question. Just beautiful. Speak your truth, express yourself. So here we see this portal appearing. So here we are in Avalon, the Isle of Avalon. Um, and who is this? Avalon Starstream Oracle. You are the Oracle. So we've got this portal appearing and you can see these kind of uh, stars and um, galaxies and then this this spaceship coming through the portal choose a natural solution when possible the portal is open we've got another portal here in these Alps be calm and anchor your energy Take a stand. That is so beautiful. That's the back design. I really, I really love it. I know not everybody likes having card backs. It's also one of the cards, but I don't mind. Words cannot express it. The Black Madonna of Prague. Oh, now I do have two cards stuck together there. That's the only two that stuck. Crown yourself. This is King Arthur's footprint. Again, we have these portals appearing. We've got a tour here without any sort of structure on it on the top. Spaceship. Think outside the flock. <laughs> Be firm in your resolve. Commit. Soul promise. We have the Essence of St. Francis here. Reflect and release. Remove your mask of your everyday persona. Wow. Yeah, how many masks do we wear each day for various situations? Illumination. Don't be the victim. I actually think I prefer the artwork in this deck compared, compared to Through the Eyes of the Soul. I mean, both are stunning, but I'm really enjoying this. I need to get this version now in this. Watch it be an impossibility. Break the negative cycle. There is no death. Golden Isis. Wow, look at this. Arthur under the tour. Deep memories are stirring. Enter the silence and listen. These are just beautiful. And I did hear, and I can't remember... I don't know if it was Sinead who mentioned it, but I do remember hearing that actually Cheryl's work, her art, which is, as I said, oil on canvas, wasn't intended to be an oracle deck. You know, she is an artist, a, an incredible artist. But that's what's happened. So we see lots of references to Glastonbury. Ellen of the Ways. 
create the pathways. Look at that, sacred lineage, divine union. We get the spaceship there. And that's, you know, that's not going to be everybody's uh, bag. Your goal is within reach. Dance your troubles away. <laughs> I've got the song now. Dance yourself, Dizzy. I won't subject you to my awful singing. Unif unicorn visions, a comforting presence is on the way. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Uh, obstacles are being removed from your path. Honour the sacred in every creation, the corn goddess. Oh, look at that. The tor has wings. Sorry? The ruin on top of the tor has wings. We've got the white rose there. The healing of Avalon. Believe in spontaneous healing. Rise to the occasion. And the final one. You are immortal. Make your decisions carefully. That is really beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. I like the... Um, I actually like the size. They are quite large because, you know, we. if you're used to Blue Angel cards, you know this is a pretty decent size. Comparing this with a tarot deck, and this is a generous size tarot card from US Games, you can see it's much wider and a lot taller. And then comparing it against this, although this is narrower, you see how tall these cards are. But they're a nice size because, and the frames um, are beautiful. I know lots of people don't like borders, but the way I'm looking at this is these are stunning oil paintings. So for me, this kind of gilt frame in this ornate kind of intricate design is just really befitting. And then we get the beautiful gold gilding, which I'm... You know, I'm a little bit disappointed, really, that if they're going to go from one uh, uh, publisher to another, that the gilding was dropped. But then not everybody likes gilding. Not everybody likes the bling. Um, but, yeah, I think this is stunning. So I want to get, because I don't know if this is going to be released in this version. If it is, then I will get it, and I will merge these two together, like I have with my... Um, Goddess Love, um, the Wendy Andrews decks, and Goddess Dream. Uh, but I'd really like to get art through the eyes of the soul in this version as well, so that I can merge these two together. So we'll just have to see what's out there. So there we have it. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been nice just to sit here on a Friday, light some candles and some insect, incense, not insects. I haven't lit any insects um, and have a coffee and a chat with you all. I will see you tomorrow for a cup of ketchup and cards, the first of the year. I did do a chat with in the beginning of January with Diane, but that wasn't a cup of ketchup and cards. That was a catching up with. So it will be the first one of the year. So I'll be here at 7 p.m. UK time tomorrow. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join me, but if not, you'll be able to watch it on replay. So until then, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.